Hi friends, this is Krishti Urban Naxal. For the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about square yards, convertible debentures or square yard convertible notes, uh, where you as an investor are asked to put thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of US dollars into this instrument called this supposedly financial instrument called square yards convertible notes. The promise is that you are going to be uh, given 15% rate of returns on investment per annum. So absolutely fantastic rate, you know, huge amount of money, 15% rate of interest. Now, this is not interest. They are saying this is returns on investment and they are committing 3% return on investment every quarter. So 12% and at the end of three years, if you want to redeem it, take back the money, then they will pay you a further 3% per annum. So they will pay you 9% at that stage and they will give you back your money. So you are going to earn 15% per annum for three years. That's 45% and then get back your money. So you give $100,000, you'll get $145,000. This is the promise. There is this site called ripoffreports.com. Ripoff. Ripoff means cheating. So this is a, a dot com for talking about you're being cheated. Rip off reports. And here there is one report. I'm going to read this report. It's very interesting. It's about Tanuj Shori. It is also about Anupam Rastogi, Gulf head of Square Yards. The LinkedIn shows these guys as, and Anupam Rastogi particularly, as being a very aggressive marketer and in charge of a team. He's motivating a team of very aggressive marketers. If you just read between the lines of a recent YouTube, uh, sorry, uh, LinkedIn post where he talks about barons and we are the barons and we are going to push ourselves and well, my sense of this is whatever they are doing, they are not being ethical about it. They don't give a fuck about what happens to investors. They are really not thinking about the long term. They are, they are taking their commissions, you know, take the money and run. Something like that is happening. And that is the approach. And that is the approach being legitimized. You know, like this is how we make money and this is the only way money is made. Something like that. I get that sense by reading an article by um, Anupam Rastogi. And you will find all these links in the description. Now, let me read to you from uh, this thing on ripoff reports. And there are a lot of things that follow from there. I'll give you links in the description. So, uh, the heading of this item on ripoff reports is Messrs. Square Yards, Tanuj Shori, CEO, Anupam Rastogi, Gulf Head, misleading investor and promoting a fraudulent investment for high commission United Arab Emirates Dubai subject complaint against local agents for promoting overseas fraudulent investment globally number two complaint against bar works for running mass scam globally a USA based commercial space company who is doubted to be run by Ranwick Addo an under trial scammer in UK for, for running capital alternatives. Click on the below link for full details. And then there is this link uh, of redmonitor.org. Bar works the return of Renwick Haddo. Now, fundraise being done globally through agents sharing high brokerage that is 20%. There is no communication for the last two months and return have been stopped. Now, this complaint was written 
on June 29, 2017. In 2017, Square Yards had marketed something and the return had stopped. And the person who wrote this is alleging that Square Yards made a very high brokerage of 20% on the total amount invested. There is no communication, he says, for the last two months and return has been stopped. Agents also have no update and are now just raising their hands. Investors on the other side are helpless and under panic for losing their life saving. Obviously, it's not Barworks who came to investors. It's agents who approached investors and advocated their products. So, if Barworks turned out to be scam, Agents should be held responsible equally. This complaint is mainly against agents like Messrs. Square Yards and Messrs. Atom Alternatives, real estate company uh, consultant UAE, so that other UAE residents can be protected from this ongoing scam and we can get justice from UAE government. So uh, you can read this yourself. I am going to share this link down in the description below. Square Yards is a real estate consultant who mislead their investor just to earn high yield of brokerage. They had promoted bar works over their own product called convertible notes. Obviously, okay, so convertible notes was being sold back in 2017. They had promoted bar works over their own product called convertible notes Obviously, because bar works pay higher brokerage and immediately as investor transfer their funds. Square Yards is more than an agent for bar works. And then he says, one of my agreement is signed by Jonathan Black, COO of bar works, who in reality does not exist. Square Yards has no clue of this man, however, engaged in promoting their business for high commission. There is a LinkedIn page of Mr. Jonathan Black. I am sharing that. But as you can see, the person does not exist and they just created this LinkedIn profile, Jonathan Black. Square Yards has no clue of this man. However, engaged in promoting their business for high commission, investigation needs to be made. The contracts are void and a refund should be made for them below link to provide the prove the same. Note this is a very small list of investors as agents are slowing coming out and connecting. The actual count is very large. Now I am going to read one link which is nested within this which is the economic times link wherein on August 16, 2016 Square Yards said it was partnering US based Barworks INC Incorporated and also a company called Invest US Property, Investors Property. Again, link in the description below. It says real, real estate advisory firm Square Yards has partnered with two US based developers to bring their property investment products on the platform. The firm which provides a platform for real estate transactions for domestic as well as foreign investors, has entered into exclusive distribution rights with New York based Barworks INC, which turned out to be a fraud company and the, the promoter went to jail for 11 years, has been imprisoned. The fundamentals of the property market are quite strong. Now, this is these are Tanuj Shori's words. The fundamentals of the property market in the US are quite strong, excellent rental returns and capital appreciation combined with positive future post prospects of the US dollar makes the US property an ideal investment option, Square Yards founder and CEO Tanuj Shori said in the statement. We are in discussion with several US based property developers to bring the best property investment products on our platform, squareyards.com Shori added. Barworks is a fast emerging operator in the co-working space market, operating two venues in New York's Manhattan, the third opening soon 
in Manhattan's West Village. Invest US Property is a Chicago based firm that specializes solely with off market projects which are not available to the general public which means well there is this property it's not available to the general public but you guys can be the investors it's that kind of a very fraudulent very smelly very suspicious kind of an offering now this was an a news item in the economic times august 2016 Barworks Inc turned out to be a Ponzi scheme and a scam and the guy who promoted this was jailed so let me read you this item britain jailed for 11 years for barworks scam that snared dozens in uae new york imprisons james moore for wire fraud in what prosecutors called a ponzi scheme on steroids a british con man was sentenced to 11 years in jail by a new york court for a financial scam involving more than 800 victims including several dozen in the uae he was found guilty of wire fraud and wire fraud conspiracy in 2019 for his role in the startup company barworks which offered companies hot desking space in trendy refurbished bars and restaurants this kind of um uh, offering which is very similar to uh, so many things devika sadar bazaar and you know all those kind of offerings where they say we are having a commercial space you buy it from us and then you give it back to us and we will lease it and we will give you my back some money and we are going to assure we are going to give you assured returns this kind of an offering is made and i keep saying this it cannot work out it will not work out it is doomed to fail now again bar works co working spaces were publicly rented out with an annual membership fee investors were told they would return they receive an annual return of 14 to 16 percent 14 to 16 percent this is very similar it's very similar to the offering of square yards i can keep arguing this on and on and on i refuse to believe that uh tanuj shori was a fool and that he didn't understand that this was a scam i refuse to believe it i mean given his educational qualifications and given kanika his wife's educational qualifications i am i refuse to believe that they were made fools of and they innocently uh you know sold this thing to investors they were innocent when they told investors that they will earn 15 or 14 to 16 percent returns in bar works and they continue to do the same thing promising 15% returns in convertible notes i tell you what i think okay just my own views my own personal views what i think is once you have realized that the world is absolutely full of chutias it's very difficult to stop making chutias out of chutias very difficult to stop taking their money it's psychologically very difficult it's like visualize this a tiger suddenly realizes that there are sheep all around him and they are sheep they are easy to kill they are easy to eat 
and once he has become an expert hunter, it is very difficult to tell the tiger to stop eating sheep and go back to eating deer. They just become habitual sheep eaters. And that is what I think Tanuj Shauri is. Tanuj, Tanuj Shauri and the whole Square Yards team is doing. You know, that is what I think is happening at Square Yards. They are basically habituated, you know. They have turned man-eaters. They, are, they have tasted blood. And they are habituated to it. And it just keeps going on and on. What they are saying, what they are pretending throughout is that this is a legitimate way of doing things. This is a completely legit way of doing business and 15% rate of interest or rate of returns on investment are normal, are sustainable, will continue and People won't lose their shirts. Nobody will lose their shirts. This is the claim. This is, in my view, the pretension. And it's a pretension. It's a claim which cannot be true. Simply because in the real world, the perfect pyramid, because these are pyramid schemes, the perfect pyramid which never collapses hasn't been invented. So a pyramid scheme, a pyramid scheme consists of people at the top taking money from people at the bottom. And as long as people at the bottom are able to find other people below them, the flow of money continues. But the moment it stops, the moment the flow stops, that is when the whole pyramid collapses. Now, if the guys at the top have made 145%, if they gave 100%, if they gave $100,000 and made $45,000 and got their $100,000 back, so they got 145%. If there are people like that who are vouching for this system and who are now act actively propagating this system, well, they are doing it at your expense. And if you are somewhere in the pyramid, lower down, recent entrant, you are at a terrific amount of risk of default. There is going to be financial default. And when the default happens, you are not getting the money back. They might start making excuses. You don't know whom to hold responsible. You are investing in a company called Square Yards Holding Limited, which is based in British Virgin Islands, uh, quite far from any place you can think of. It is very, very far from North America. It is very, very far from South America. It is quite far from Cuba and it is quite far from the nearest place is Puerto Rico which is an American territory, offshore territory. And this is a British territory called British Virgin Islands and a tiny island called Tortola, which is 20 kilometers by 5 kilometers, you know, 20 kilometers long and 5 kilometers wide and registered on this island called Tortola is this company called Square Yards Holding Limited. Now, the name is important, Square Yards Holding Limited, not Square Yard Holdings Limited. Supposedly, there are two companies. I know of only one company and it is called Square Yards, sorry, Square Yard Holdings Limited. And that evidently is owned by a guy called Benjamin Scrimgeour. And these guys say, no, 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 that is not our company. Our company, Square Yards, the company belonging to Square Yards, to Tanuj Shori, to Kanika Gupta, to all these people, is 
square yards holding limited the important point here is that they are not giving you a certificate or an instrument an actual financial instrument called a convertible debenture or a convertible note they are not giving you a certificate they are not giving you an instrument which you can take and you can mortgage or you can take a loan on what they are actually giving you when you give them your money say 10000 us dollars is they are giving you post dated checks for every quarter with a 3% return the post dated checks are from indian and uae banks if you are among those unfortunate people who have given 10000 us dollars now how do i convince you that this instrument this is not a financial instrument this is a fake how do i convince you i'm going to give you a very simple way to for you to check let's forget about all those things i said about this company not existing what is this one thing that you can do which would enable you to check whether square yards convertible notes or square yards convertible debentures is a legitimate financial instrument i think the simplest way you can do it is you try to bank it see friends if you have any other financial instrument whether it is the share of a company equity share of a company whether it is a debenture of a company whether it is the it is uh, whether you are holding commodities you are holding a share in commodities whether it is a a, a mutual fund unit you know whatever kind of a financial instrument or as something as mundane as a fixed deposit any kind of a financial instrument has a certificate they give you something solid or it can be held in your demat account but even if held in your demat account there is still a you know there is a unique number there is a verifiability there is a certificate even if demat that enables you to mortgage that security that instrument you can take that instrument and mortgage it with a bank and pick up a loan on it now if you have an instrument which has a short returns of 15% per annum even 12% or short term 15% is after 3 years you can take that and put it with a bank and withdraw a loan based on this this right so it is a bankable security or a bankable financial instrument i say i have said this earlier and i am saying it again these guys are not giving you a bankable security or a bankable financial instrument that convertible note or a debenture or that financial instrument which is which should be given to you is not given to you so what do you get you get a bunch of post dated checks now can you take these post dated checks can you bank them can you pick up a loan on them i don't think so those post dated checks are not an instrument they are not a security they are not a legitimate security that is recognized by the banking system anywhere in the world which means what you have when you buy these or invest in these so called convertible notes or convertible debentures of square yards is you don't have anything you don't have a security you don't have a financial instrument what you have is a nothing what you have a, what you have is a dream you are supposed to hold those guys in british virgin islands responsible 
you don't know their names if you try to hold tanuj shori or kanika gupta or any of these guys responsible they'll say sorry not our problem it's not ours so what would be a good piece of advice to give you guys what would be a good advice to give you guys i would say the best advice i could possibly give you would be start asking for your money back right now with or without the 3% returns just start asking for your money back take back your money while the pyramid is still intact before it has collapsed once the pyramid collapses you will you are probably not getting back your money and nobody is getting back their money and the people who made money at the top well they made it and they walk off with the money so ask for your money back start pressuring these people start threatening to blow the whistle on them ask for your money back now is it possible that because you blow the whistle on them the whole pyramid will collapse yeah that's also a possibility is it possible that if you sit tight you will gain i would say that is really not very probable you are more likely to lose a lot of money than gain your money it is very unlikely that you will get 145% very unlikely you may get 45% but you lose the 100% you may get the return on investment but you lose the investment itself that is more likely so should you form a group should you form an investors group and go in like a morcha to these guys and say give us back our money i would suggest don't do that don't form a group because negotiating with groups is very complicated and these guys will entangle you in that complication and you won't get your money back if you say everyone has to get their money back no each one of you investors act as individuals attack this problem by yourself so if you have been unfortunate enough to have parted with a lot of money i don't know 10000 20000 50000 us dollars or 100000 us dollars some such crazy amount if you have been unfortunate enough to have given this money to square yards for their convertible notes my suggestion would be withdraw it as quickly as you can start putting pressure on them call me if you wish we can discuss how you can get your money back what is the kind of pressure that might lead them to give you back your money without imposing onerous terms and conditions and for features and all that kind of thing but you would be wise to take back your money as soon as possible you know because it's a bit it's like a game of musical chairs where the number of chairs are far fewer than the participants in the game when the music stops and everybody scrambles to a chair there will be a lot of people sitting not finding a chair or it's like passing the parcel when the music stops if you are the one holding the parcel you're fucked so try to get out of the game before the music stops their rules may not permit you their rules may say no 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 you cannot get out of the game now that you are in i think we can bend the rules i think we can make them bend the rules for you and i think we can uh create a situation where they might actively actively want to give you back your money rather than mess with you that is more or less what i would suggest let me give you another analogy when the titanic was sinking 
a lot of people went down with the ship and a lot of people who went down with the ship who sank were i think the ones who said well we'll find a way to fit everybody onto the life boats and everybody can success successfully leave titanic the ones who survived were the ones who were enterprising got themselves onto a life boat and made off with it is that ethical well i think you have to act in self preservation i don't think staying calm is the proper thing to do there are times in life when you should stay calm but i feel this isn't one of those times i feel this would be a time for you to stay calm but move quickly and recover money recover as much money as possible before the music stops and before as they say the shit hits the fan i'm krish the urban naxal your friend there's a lot more to be said about this topic and we will continue to talk about this in the weeks and maybe even the months to come i hope to not provoke the pyramid to collapse i don't intend to make the pyramid collapse but i do intend to help some people escape the consequences of this conspiracy to take away your money basically and to help them survive and escape as intact as possible losing as little money as possible that is definitely an objective krish the urban naxal signing out jai maharashtra jai hind jai jawan jai kisan